Hey guys, alright, so I'm making this video to let you guys know that I'm making an announcement that I've actually completed a entire written tutorial on the process of photogrammetry. It's nine pages, as you guys can see over here, and I've decided to go for a written uh, tutorial this time, so I hope you guys enjoy reading. Uh, but um, it basically covers my entire process for photogrammetry because I've been getting asked tons of questions on Facebook and on my Instagram because I've actually been playing around with photogrammetry uh, for quite a while now and there's some people that want to uh, get into this as well because I see it as uh, the technology of the future that's at our fingertips right now. So I thought it would be cool just to put something together to explain uh, just some general theory for photogrammetry and then obviously my own uh, personal best practices for doing photogrammetry, uh, stuff that I've encountered, um, you know, just trial and error and common mistakes that I've encountered along the way. So I've put this together for you guys, uh, covering the whole process of photogrammetry and again general tips, as you can see over here. And uh, there's a there's quite a lot of images. And the best part about this is all of these images are actual practical examples uh, that I've completed. So these are all images that I've taken and. All of the objects that you'll see over here that have been constructed are my own personal objects. So I'm using real world examples uh, to teach you guys my process of photogrammetry. So hopefully this can come in, in handy for some of you guys uh, if you want to get into this. Because uh, photogrammetry is really cool. You basically preserve in reality and then uh, reuse in reality in a, in another 3D program so it's really really cool technology and I got interested in in photogrammetry when I saw it used in uh, some films and video games like Battlefield 1 and um, some other games as well so I decided to start playing around with it and I haven't stopped so I know there's quite a lot of people that want to get started with this uh, but there is uh, there is documentation out there uh, some guys that have helped me along the way as well, uh, like Ezekiel Grand, uh, Seb, VHE, and some other guys as well. And just some general tutorials on YouTube that have helped me. But um, again, this entire documentation is my own personal best practices for, for doing photogrammetry and how I do photogrammetry. So you can uh, just learn from me directly and see how I actually do this. And then at the end, I've actually put together a tutorial uh, for Autodesk Remake because that's the program I'm using uh, to reconstruct these images uh, into 3D objects. So it's nine pages uh, with images and everything to help guide you along the way. Um, and again, I'm trying my best to offer something that can maybe help you out and make your results a little bit more successful. Uh, but photogrammetry is trial and error, guys. So uh, these results, is uh, I mean, these... Um, this is basically just a guideline. It's not the perfect solution for photogrammetry, but it can help you along the way and to actually get you started with photogrammetry. So I've covered all of that for you guys. It's written. Uh, you can get this on my Gumroad right now. It's free. And um, in the future, maybe I'll add, I'll update this product with some video tutorials or whatever new techniques I discover with photogrammetry. So if you go ahead, download this now while it's free, uh, you'll get those other updates for free in the future as well, or if I plan on adding here. Uh, because in the future, it'll probably be paid if I'm adding completely new content or video tutorial content. So it's free now, all the documentation, you can, guys can go ahead, read this, and get started with this awesome technology. All right, so that's on my Gumroad. Check the description or the pinned comment on this video. Um, if you're interested, you can go ahead, download this, and um, I don't know, I don't think my grammar is the best, but I have tried to articulate myself uh, proficiently with this, with, with this document, so hopefully you guys will be understanding everything I'm saying here. So good luck with that, guys. Here's the whole breakdown on photogrammetry and how I do it, uh, so you guys can also play around with this really cool technology and do cool stuff like this, like pot plants or sneakers or whatever you guys want to do. Alright, so as always, stay tuned for some more tutorials, and thank you for watching. Goodbye.